Today's video is probably going to be more useful for somebody who already owns some sort of an Asus wireless router uh, because I actually want to talk about Asus wireless routers. I mean, not the routers themselves, but rather their operating systems. I actually want to compare Asus WRT with Asus WRT Merlin. And if you have watched my previous video, then you would know that Asus WRT is the original and factory firmware for Asus wireless routers and Asus WRT Merlin is a third-party custom firmware for some Asus wireless routers. So Asus WRT Merlin, which I'm gonna call it Merlin in this video, is actually very similar to Asus WRT and its primary purpose is not to add a lot of new features, but instead it is focusing on enhancing the existing firmware and fixing some of its known issues and limitations without bringing any radical changes. I personally used Asus WRT for more than 5 years and during that 5 years I installed Merlin for a few times but only for testing purposes and then went back to Asus WRT again. But it was like 6 months ago that I completely switched to Merlin and never looked back again. As I have said before in other videos, um, the main reason that I switched to Merlin was because of an issue that I was experiencing in Asus WRT, which actually got resolved after I installed Merlin. But let's forget about that issue and let's imagine both firmware work fine. After using Merlin for about 6 months or so, I found 5 advantages in Merlin over Asus WRT that are very useful for me. And because of them, I don't see myself going back to Asus WRT even if I know I won't have that issue again. At least for as long as I use this wireless router and as long as Merlin actually supports it. For example, I can use user scripts in Merlin which allows me to do a lot of customizations. Even though the Merlin firmware actually doesn't come with many new features, using these scripts let me create custom rules and jobs, which is very interesting. There is a good guide in the Merlin documentation wiki page. It is about how you can enable and use user scripts in the Merlin firmware. I'm gonna add the link in the video description and definitely check that out if you're interested in using them. So overall I can use them to do many different projects. For example, something that I want to do by using these scripts is a link aggregation between my wireless router and a switch, which is definitely something that I could not have done in the Asus WRT firmware. In addition to user scripts, I can also use cron jobs to schedule tasks. For example, I can schedule the router to reboot every day automatically or schedule it to turn its LED lights off at night and turn them back on in the morning. Or as you can see here, there's a script here that with the help of cron jobs, it can generate a random password for the guest Wi-Fi every day, which honestly is something interesting. I recently connected a USB hard disk drive to my router so I can share some files throughout my network. I've already made a video on how we can do that and link to that video is in the video description right below the like button. Now the problem that I'm having here is that if I want to use Network Place Samba to share my hard disk drive, the Asus WRT unfortunately only supports SMB version 1, which is old, less secure and at least Windows 10 devices no longer have it enabled by default. So long story short, I prefer to use at least SMB version 2, which unfortunately as I said is not available in the Asus WRT firmware and as you probably have guessed it right, is available in the Merlin firmware. Now if I decide to use the FTP protocol to share my USB hard disk drive, in the ASUS WRT firmware the WAN access is actually enabled and there is no option to disable it. That means people from the outside can try to access my files using the FTP protocol. It is just a matter of finding my username and password. So it is a huge security risk for me. And I personally prefer to disable this WAN access which is an option only available in the Merlin firmware and not in the ASUS WRT firmware. So the last one on my list, which is not the least one, 
at least for me, um, is actually the site survey feature in the Merlin firmware, which is going to show me the available wireless networks in my area along with the channels they're using, which is very good information and can help me to decide which channel is the least utilized channel in my area so I can actually select that channel for my wireless network. It is obviously not the end of the world if I don't have that option. I can still use my Wi Fi analyzer app on my phone, but it is actually very convenient for me to have this option available okay so now let's review uh, what we talked about in this video but before we get there just wanted to say that um, the purpose of this video obviously was not to go over every single difference between the two firmware there's actually a list of uh, the extra features that are available in the Merlin firmware on its website I'll put the link below in case that's something you're interested but in this video, I actually wanted to share with you my thoughts on the Merlin firmware after using it for about six months or so. Basically, five advantages that I think Merlin currently has over um, Asus WRT for this particular router and uh, based on what I need in my network here. So number one and two on my list are kind of related to each other. User scripts and cron jobs. Uh, user scripts are essentially shell scripts that allow me to do a lot of customizations. There's actually all kinds of things that can be done using them. But what I'm um, actually probably going to try for a project is the link aggregation. Cron jobs actually allow me to schedule tasks. Um, Again, something that I think I have a use case for and I want to give it a try is to schedule my router to generate a random password for the guest Wi-Fi every day and email it to me. How cool is that? So number three and four are again kind of related to each other. SMB version two and FTP. I can actually use them to share a USB hard disk drive that I have connected to the router. The problem is that ASUS WRT unfortunately currently only supports SMB version one, which is old and not secure. And because of that, uh, Windows 10 devices no longer have it enabled by default. So I actually prefer to use at least SMB version two which Merlin supports it. The problem with FTP is that um, Asus WRT by default enables FTP WAN access, which to me is a huge security risk, and I just rather disable it. Um, unfortunately, I cannot do it with Asus WRT, but luckily I can do it with Merlin. Number five is a site survey feature that is only available in the Merlin firmware. I actually have a habit of uh, checking uh, the wireless channels of my wireless networks every now and then to make sure I'm using the least utilized, the least crowded uh, channel in my area. One good tool that can help me to determine that is actually the site survey feature and it is very convenient to have it uh, in the web interface of the wireless router. All right, that was pretty much it for this video and I hope you liked it. Um, thumbs up if you did, uh, share it if you think others might like it too, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Uh, and don't forget to activate that bell notification. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.